A great meeting point, convenient light meals, hot and cold beverages, or a quick snack on the go. What's your order for the day? We don't just say, we do. It's the Stain City Way. to Real Talk with myself, Anil Mdoda. So, are you one of those people who think it's premature to be speaking about summer bodies in the dying days of winter? Well, think again. If you're going to start working on that beach body, now's the time because in a few weeks' time, people are going to be wearing shorts and you are going to be left out. Which is why today, we've invited personalities and experts to share some tips on how you can transform your body so it's summer ready. And there's no better person to draw inspiration from than radio and television personality and singer, Unatim Sengana. After giving birth to her two children, she piled on some unwanted kilos, weighing 98 kilograms. She was victimized, fat shamed, and got a lot of... That's a gain deal, eh? You've gained weight. Fast forward to 2017, Unati has lost more than 30 kilograms. She's here to tell you how. She's busy putting her shoes on. <laughs> Welcome to the show, man. Chubby! <laughs> Hello, everybody. I take Hi. it you were at the gym. That's why I you came. I was at the gym, Ken. Came in here running in. And don't say I take it, because you know, yesterday when we spoke, I was like, Anel, why are you putting me under so much pressure? Mm -hmm. I think I've been to the gym like three times in like 24 hours because of you. Oh, because you can't come here and tell us about losing weight when you don't look like it. Exactly. But listen. Hi, Chomi. Okay. Hi. Mimi. Hi, Mimi. 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 Okay. Mimi. Mimi. Hi, Chomi. Uh, let's talk about how people used to tell you you're fat. <laughs> Can we talk about it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. Let's, let's start there. Can we because start at here's the beginning? The thing. When I first saw you, yes. you every, the entire country was crushing on you on Castle Loud, right? Thank you, babe. Which now you're even smaller than what you were then, to Tell be fair. Me, I am, you know that. Yeah. It's miraculous. So, you know, uh, how much Kosa can I speak? Because you, you can translate. Ne? Please. To our non-speaking class of viewers, I'll Please, translate. babes, because okay. we're trying to be, like, accommodating. So you on Cast Aloud, you're on TV. Yes. Are you self-conscious about your body then? No, because I'm done now. I'm okay. done. I'm yours, cool. I'm yours, I'm okay, yours. Cool. Thanks to mom. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Chances. Zoom in on her face. Ah. Okay, cool. Cast Aloud. Yes. First thing I got was, you've got the job, but you need to lose 15 Ks, and you've got to wear a weave. Oh. And I was like, but I went to school for this. Because you I were a dreadlock to? girl. I then. was a dreadlock girl, big yeah. bummer ones. And then I was just like, no thanks. So I've never been like a weight conscious person. Yeah. Oh, so I've just been happy. Yeah. Yeah, bo? Uh. And then they agreed and they were like, actually, just be you. And I said, thanks. Then I had kids. Uh. Then the first I gained 25, uh, second I gained 28. Uh. And it's harder to lose the second time. I hear that. And then the first time, there, were no, there was no social media. So but you now could with, live happily with And the, I did, and I lived, there. and I lost it in my time. Mm. But now with baby number two, there's social media. You know, and opinions of people who, 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 who are hurt, yeah. who want to hurt others. Yes, of yeah, course. So it was... You are as fat as a stuffed fat cook. Your arms are so active, girl. They look like it says it don't it's bad like you're in. Oh my word. And some of these are from friends of friends. Oh yeah, but those are the toxic ones. They are, right? Yeah, those because somebody who says something about you is far away is fine. Right. But somebody who's close to you. Yeah. They they want to purposely hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But now, did you do any TV when you were uh, when after second baby? Kalogu, so idols, yeah. I'm pregnant. Yes. And then yes. second season now. I'm 98. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So. And also, you're not tall. No. You think you're tall. I, I, I get I this think about I you. Need to. <laughs> like, yeah, I get this about you. You, you think, girl. I do you think I'm tall, no, Chama? No, I'm not, no. no. I'm average. No. I'm you, average you, height. You, 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 you are. I'm okay. You're portable. I'm portable. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, be, I'll <laughs> yeah. take that. And the thing is, so if you're not tall, you can't really carry that weight. As no, well. you can't. And also, I'm not tall. I'm not tall. I'm so. Yeah, but. So it, it was. It was stomach, it was bum. Because my thing is, I must have one. It can't be both. Ooh, yeah, That's yeah. my theory. It's like, God, give me one. Yeah. Don't give me both. So he, so Gogo, I had Lena, 
and then I had Lena as well. And then Amabel as well. Oh God, you must have two kids. Yeah. You like a dairy factory. And also black women, we retain water more than any other ethnic, ethnic group. That's why our skin's so good. That's why our skin's so good, yeah. yeah but that's why we've got fat knees and fat <laughs> ankles. Like, <laughs> we, I got like... So we, 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 I had to learn so much about weight loss, water retention, dairy. Humans are the only species in the world that consumes another animal's dairy, oh. which is very unhealthy. Oh. So nice, so nice. And I mean, cows are not fat like that cows by mistake. Don't drink, <laughs> exactly. But cows don't drink sheep milk. Sheep don't drink cow's milk. Lions don't drink zebra milk. Zebra does not drink elephant milk. But here we are, humans, consuming it all. Uh, calcium for your teeth, for your bones. Calcium was cheese, your kind. What's cheese. rock bottom? Rock bottom was not the comments, mm. not the disrespectful women like who just throw themselves at your man because, you know. They like, because that's what we do. Because they can take flight easier. Ow! Oh, yeah, can't. Uh, <laughs> when I fall, no. Huh? It was two digits away from three. Two kilograms away. When I got on the scale, uh. and I, I literally was two kilograms away from the triple digits. That, that was rock bottom for me. Oh, God. I, 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 I... So what do you do for us? Because I remember you, and you were dropping weight, and you came to my birthday party, and I offered you a, a cider, and you were like, mm -mm. Gail? Do you know, that was one of the hardest parties of my life. Really? You know that? Because, like, we were out here going, Fabiza, song came us so what? With your dad. Dude, yes. like, and, <laughs> and you're like, like we're so far. You're like, mm -mm. So not, what, not what that do we you are intoxicated often. But regularly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what? So it was looking at sugar, wheat, dairy, the three, like, sins. Uh, so it was uh, cutting down on sugar, not drinking, what I did was I only started drinking water Monday to Thursday, okay. only water. Okay. So little things, because you can't, you can't shock your body so much that you, you hate what you're doing and then you just like, yeah, like then you in. crash out, you know, you yeah. go full force and then you lose steam and you then you're out. You can't. So it was drinking water Monday to Thursday. It was changing my bread. So now I'm a low GI, not a, like a, yeah. a standard. Yeah. yeah well, so when Oprah says, I eat bread every day. She, I got talking, guys. She's telling the truth. It's just the type of bread. So gluten free. Gluten free. And 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 uh, so wheat, like whole wheat, is like we think brown bread is fine. But no, no, no. Oh no. Even whole wheat is like you can get better. Rye, much better. Okay. So uh -oh. rye, low GI, gluten free, all that stuff. Okay. Do, do you know what the secret is? You eat it in that are closest to their natural form. No preservatives. No preservatives. Because that turns into sugar quicker. Yes, yes. So you eat things closest to their natural, the most natural form. So you think of cavemen and how they used to eat. Natural grains. Okay. Natural meats. Yeah, can't, not uh, too much dairy. So that's how you, 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 you process it and, and try and keep it as natural. And that's what they mean when they say as clean as possible. Okay, so... That's her deciding, and those are the initial steps. I mean, she's got one hell of a gym routine that we want to talk about as well. Still to come, there's a dietitian and a personal trainer in the studio. If you, have, if you have any specific questions relating to your diet or your training program, you can send us your WhatsApp voice notes right now. Details are on the screen. Stay with us. So when an overweight Unati hit the gym to lose her excess weight, she was body shamed by fellow gym goers. <sighs> okay, she didn't let that get to her, but instead she channeled all that energy to creating a body that would be the envy to many of us. Have you seen her Instagram posts? The lady who gave us the line, I want my tush to stay tight like a tiger to keep it cute is here in studio. Did I say that? Did I say that? Yes. Huh? Okay. And it does look tight like it a tiger. Of course, your mom, you squat. <laughs> I, do we have the pictures from her Instagram where she's wearing white bikinis? I hope. Do we have Last it? month. Yeah. Last, yes. That just was like, Mozambique. Just, okay. No, no, don't. They're going to play it. They're okay. going to find it. In okay. the interim. Yes. Um, did you, when you started dropping weight, how did you keep yourself motivated? Like, do you buy yourself clothes? Do you? S yes. Okay. So I threw away the scale. So I haven't weighed myself in over a year. Ne? Okay. Then I bought clothes that I wanted to fit into. Because Glenn. The when I'm thin clothes. The when I'm thin clothes. Oh. So now I'm in the when I'm thin clothes. Okay. 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 
Really? Yeah, honor to mom. So 20, 2011, when I gave birth, I literally went to New York. Yeah. Went on a huge shopping spree, came back with an entire suitcase of uh. underwear uh. and clothes. And then I said, when I'm thin. And then it just started going slowly. Glenn is the one, because he says, Unati, if you feel good, you will look good in anything. That's true. So that's all it was. And that's he's true. the guy who, who taught me to squat, because he was like, women don't squat. It's a new phenomenon. Yeah, it's, it guys is. have always squatted. Yeah. Tina, it's never been our thing. Because also we thought like, if you squat, you're building bulky legs. Yes, Meanwhile, yes. No, it's like, you're just keeping it's it toys, like a toy gun. making up, yes. and it's making you know, everything yeah. go up there. So we've got the before picture. Oh, do we? Yeah. But, honey, uh, That's before and after. Look at that, Unati. Of course. And you, look at your arms. Look at your, look at that. Those are the, those are the dumplings arms. Yeah, kind of, so oh. that's what she was talking about. But my arms look like they're still dumplings boiling in a pot. And no one applauds the fact that you went in without Photoshop. Because when I look at that, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You know, keep your Photoshop. Thank you. And also, there isn't Photoshop on the bikini one. So no, no, no. Look at you, girl. Mm, thanks, Joe. <laughs> Psychologically. Yeah. Something has to happen because I know with like many weight loss programs, they say, you know, what's going to happen is because you're going to change and you're going you're gonna to get to a point when even the compliments embarrass you. Yeah. As much as even being yeah. fat also embarrassed you. Do you know, but also, do you know, and also self-sabotage used to be my thing. So if I was losing too much weight, I'd eat. <gasps> Isn't it weird? But I want to lose weight. But it's, it's too much and it's happening too quickly and, and it's just I'm getting too much attention so I'd eat. Isn't it bizarre? Because also someone's like, oh, you've lost weight. You're like, mm, yeah. <laughs> and you get defensive about it. And then, and then for me, I just, it clicked one day on some, I just want to have my dream body. Yeah. I want to be comfortable, not for anything, but to be confident, to feel sexy as a woman, mm. just to just walk and just not want to hide, is it? So Did you have like cheat meals? I have cheat meals. I don't believe in like killing yourself. Okay. So I'm strict, as I said, Monday to Thursday. Uh, no, Sunday to Thursday. Yeah. And then Friday, Saturday, is the hour. Wait, so Sunday lunch? Sunday lunch, I, I, I hoi everything, but okay. I, do, I just don't eat the rice. I'll cook everything okay. for Indlu, but then I just won't eat the rice. So when you were losing the weight, when you were losing the 30 kilograms, yeah. um, th then you were like, okay, strict. strict. And now you're just maintaining. Now I'm maintaining. And I'll have, if now, the mm. rice, then I'll have a little handful instead of like, half the plate with the rice and then piling on everything else. In fact, I was reading up on a Japanese philosophy where they said that uh, in Japan, on your plate, you eat 70% of what's on the plate. Yeah. And if 20 minutes later you're still hungry, then you can go back for the other 30. Yeah. And, and, and I just felt like, we don't do that. To us, we do to coil it. To, yeah. then like, and, then oh, then and then you're like, you lean back, you're like, yeah, it's like rest right after time. a meal. Yeah. And now I eat six times a day because it's tiny meals. It's tiny meals. I'm hungry all day because your body needs to be inspired to work. It's okay. the metabolism, yeah. you know, burning your, yeah. your fat. So when you eat more, you're inspiring your body to burn more. And it's just a, a beautiful, like, ripple effect. So, I mean, you lost the weight and now you, you, you've just transformed your body. Now you look like a machine. Like, of course, it's um, half like, a machine, half a okay, machine. Okay. I want to look like a machine in December. Okay. Like the guy who, who transformed <laughs> Casper on your best body. Right. I saw on Instagram, I saw his beam. I was like, what <laughs> Hey, thirsty. What? Yeah. Traps. Yeah. Traps. Yeah. Traps yeah. are all over the trap. <laughs> You're a trap. Am I? You're a snack. Am I? <laughs> Sviso. Sviso. Your trainer. Usane. And it's his birthday today. Happy Please can birthday. I send a shout yes. out? Happy birthday, Skandwa Sam. Happy birthday to you. Minim Nandi Gue. Thank you for your contribution to my body and many other women. Happy birthday to you. I've got a video of you guys doing, doing your thing. Are we? Yeah. Is it? Is it? Oh. Oh. I mean, like. Oh my word, babe. How creative is he? Oh, oh babe. Mm. That's mm. how them Hawaiian volleyball girls mm. train. Oh, Underwater really? Underwater as well, right? Really? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And the sea, and they, 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 they hoi that thing there. How it's often fed. do you do that? Three times a week with him. For how long? You owe me a Wednesday. I know, I said... Don't owe me, she's acting like she doesn't owe me a Wednesday. You owe me a Wednesday. I said I'm coming because I want December to be nice, okay? You owe me a Wednesday. Okay. You Every, owe me a Wednesday. So you do it three times a week? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Do you go to the gym other days then? Yes. Okay. So Monday I'll do grid as well in the afternoon. Um. And then Tuesday, Thursday. I like weekends as well because no one's at the gym. Because mm. cardio is huge, so I, I run a lot. Okay. Cause you know what I know about being fat and going to the gym is that yes. you first run a bit so you can lose weight so you yes. can go to the gym. Yes. Like it's crazy. Like where's because the psyche they Because they shame you at the gym. What, what do you mean they shame you at the gym? Yeah, that's okay.